Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to pop on and talk about being consistent on a plan or a program or something, right? I hear this a lot where women tell me their story of where they're at and why they're frustrated with their health, their body, they can't get results, they aren't feeling good, I have no energy, I'm not sleeping well, I have these hormone issues, I've gained this weight, I can't lose it, oh, I've been doing all these things. And sometimes when I do something, it'll work for a little bit, but then I get off track, right? and then everything goes to crap and I can't stay consistent, right? I can't stay consistent with it. So then you fall off whatever thing you're doing and then all of a sudden you try it again and you're like, oh, okay, this is working this time or here I go, I'm gonna do it again. Gathering up all this energy momentum just to try one more time to realize, you know, another month or two in that you're like, oh, I can't do it anymore. I'm totally exhausted. I don't care that I've lost five pounds. I literally can't keep going because I don't have any energy. How can you keep going if you're not fueling your body, right? Most plans, programs, and everything are so restrictive that they're not supporting your system properly to keep going. This is not a way of life to keep going with. I just, just I want to put that out there. So with being consistent, there's a few things to look at with being consistent because so often you're putting the blame just on yourself, right? You're putting the blame on yourself of, I can't be consistent. I'm not doing with, with of course, like if, there, if, if taking supplements are healthy for you or good for you and you're not taking them every day, yes, then you're not being consistent. So they're not going to work if you don't take them, right? They don't do any good in the bottle. <laughs> Sometimes that's so funny. Those herbs don't work in the bottle. They only work in your body. You got to take them every day. <laughs> It's true though, it's true. So being consistent with that is one thing. But if you're following a plan, following a program, following something, and you're feeling like, yeah, this is not, uh, I can force myself to do it, and then I'm forcing this certain result, but I'm not feeling good, how are you supposed to stay on that plan? How are you supposed to continue to be consistent with that? How are you supposed to still feel good? You can't. So then where does that leave you? Right where you are right where you are, right? Right, so speaking of which, uh, yes, um, huh, I'm gonna put a link here for the 12 week challenge. Hi, yes, if you are um, wanting to know about the 12 week challenge, wanting to know about how to really shift and change how and what you're doing, work with your body, do all the things I'm gonna talk about here, go in the comments, click on this wait list here, uh, and get on the waitlist for the 12 week challenge because this is going to be um, a big game changer. A big game changer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So here we go. How do you stay consistent? How do you just, you know, it's not about forcing yourself to do something. If you have to keep forcing yourself to do something, it's not the right thing for you, right? Hi, Jenna. How you doing? Yes. So if you have to keep forcing yourself, there's no way you can keep that up forever willpower is not a tactic, right? It's not a tactic to rely on always. What happens when life gets stressful? What happens when it hits the fan, right? What happens when you, you know, have something just shift in your life where you're like, okay, oh, I don't even know what to do. As long as you have a routine and things that you can go by, you have an outline to keep following. That's what keeps you successful. That's what keeps you consistent. The one thing that's going to be consistent in your life is that stuff is going to pop up, right? As women, we know this. We know this. You can try and plan, prepare, prep for all the wonderful things, right? And of course, great. But there will be times where stuff just happens. And if you don't have a good protocol to follow to support your body and system through a stressful time, it will completely throw you off track. Just like that, overnight. But if you've got a protocol to follow and you're supporting your system and body the entire time, you can still stick with it. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It does not have to be perfect. That's one of the things that we go through in the 12 week challenge. You do not have to be perfect on this. If you can't have, you know, your favorite coffee creamer because it's going to ruin everything, you're on the wrong, you're on the wrong diet. You're on the wrong diet. You know, you should be able to have a, a couple of tablespoons of your favorite coffee creamer. No big deal, right? No big deal. It's those little things really that just so nice to have. Sure. Have it. I don't care because your metabolism should be working hard enough for you to keep going. And when you have the right protocol 
for your system, your lifestyle, and when things get thrown off track, you can still be consistent. That is where the magic is. There is no magic supplement. There is no magic whatever thing out there. It isn't out there, it's in here. And when you work with this system and with your lifestyle, you get to keep going and that's where the amazing results are. It really, really is. It's not the fun answer. I feel like I should do a video talking about like, this is the one thing you've been missing. Consistency. <laughs> Get it? Because it's not a thing. It's just something you do. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's the thing, consistency. There's so many women that are going through stressful times right now. And if you don't have a, prot a protocol to go off of, it's going to throw you off track. So by having tools, by having the right things for your system, your body, your lifestyle, your goals, you set yourself up for success, not only now, but also in the future. Six months from now, when things get stressful, are you gonna be prepared to handle that? A year from now, two years from now, whatever that is. To know your system has the support it needs, gold mine. Really, seriously, it's a whole different ball game then. So consistency comes from fueling your body, not restricting it fueling your body, getting your body the nutrients it needs, right? <laughs> yes, right? Yes, it's so different. Fueling your body, not restricting. Proteins, minerals, you know, fibers, all these things. Carbs, yes, carbs, yes, carbs fuel your body. Healthy fats, all those things. Those are so important. Fuel your body, not restrict. Restrict you cannot be consistent on. That's not a lifestyle plan. I chatted with somebody who was eating at one point a thousand calories a day to lose weight a thousand calories a day I'm not kidding this is something that this is a real thing that people are being guided to do oh you're eating 1800 calories a day well we can help you lose weight let's take it to 1600 calories oh okay now we're gonna take it to 1400 now we're gonna take it to 1200 got down to a thousand calories a day that's like, that's like starving yourself. How is that helping your metabolism? It's not, it's not. And that's not a lifestyle plan for an active adult, you know, woman who is, who is busy doing things and has stuff going on in their life, right? You, you, you can't keep doing that. You know what I mean? You, you can't do that to your system. That's not a healthy thing to do at all and not something you can maintain. You're setting yourself up to crash and burn later. That's the restriction. So consistency comes from fueling your body and boosting your metabolism. That's the secret. Fueling your body boosts your metabolism. Yes. Next thing is working with your body, working with your body, your body specifically, your hormones. Do you have a normal cycle or not? Are you in perimenopause, menopause, right? Where are you at working with your body? Do you have a history of thyroid issues? Do you have a history of uh, endometriosis, PCOS, right? All these things matter, right? Have you had a lot of injuries? Are you somebody that was sick a ton, you know, when you were younger? Lots of strep throat or something like that, right? Do you have gut health issues, right? Do you have all these other things that, that slow you down and hold you up in terms of your health? Not just as simple as, you know, oh, I, you know, should or shouldn't eat this or that, right? Sometimes it's more than that. Working with your body is hormones and everything, but also the stuff that you've been, your health is cumulative. Your health is cumulative. There's a lot of power in that, meaning if you've gone through a long road already, it just lets you know the road that you have to take in front of you, right? The road that you have to take in front of you. So if you've had a lot of health issues, like big issues, like I had thyroid stuff. I, um, have really terrible cycles. I'm exhausted. I've been through adrenal fatigue, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Yes. Your system is going to need a different path than somebody else who doesn't have to deal with all that stuff. That's what we do in the 12 week challenge. I teach you how to work with your body specifically, how it reacts, responds, all those things, because it matters and it matters to your results and keeping them and being consistent. All of it matters. And then having it be custom for your goals. Your goals are going to be specific to you and what you want out of your life. 
There are a lot of women that I work with that actually realize, okay, after we get started, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so much more energy that I didn't realize my lack of energy was, was hurting my marriage, my relationship with my kids, the work that I do. I'm able to show up at work like so much more energy and really fulfill the service that I provide through the work that I do that I love, which is so great. But if you don't have the energy to even get through your day, how are you showing up, right? So what are your goals? I mean, a lot of women just think I want to fit into these pants or something, which is great, right? That's, that's a great thing to do. But when it comes down to it and you start actually working with your system and you notice, I feel different. Like I have this energy. I can do these things that I want to do and nothing is holding me back. Literally think about that. Think about having so much more energy, feeling so good in your body that it's not ever going to hold you back. You don't ever get tired in the afternoons. You have the mental space and capacity to do other things. I work with women all the time that say, this is changing everything, that they pick up another hobby. They start bike riding with their kids in the afternoon or evening. They, um, I had somebody, oh, such, such an achiever type of a gal, which a lot of women are, right? Like we are achievers, we are drivers, we do things, we change the world, right? She's so funny, she's like, yeah, I've been wanting to like start this business and write this book and do these things in the afternoon. And she's like, I'm feeling so good. I think I'm going to do it right now. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> do it. She's like, yeah, I was thinking I would have to take time off or like go on vacation for two weeks to get this project started, but she's just doing it right now, integrating it in because she's got the energy, the mental capacity, brain fog is gone. All these things are so different. So, so different when you start working with your body. And again, for your goals, your goals are going to be different than my goals, right? Totally fine. Totally fine. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> feeling, um, having coffee cream or ice cream. Yeah. See you again. Ice cream. If you want to have a little bit of ice cream every day, totally fine. I like to have a little bit of chocolate every day. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. It's what I love. It's great. Um, soda. Yes. Halo top ice cream. That's yeah. Right. Um, thanks for being here and making sure we know that the information we've been bombarded with all our lives is <laughs> right. And then pointing us in the right direction. There we go. That's it. <laughs> I'm just laughing because sometimes I do feel like that. Sometimes I feel like when I present information, I'm like, hey, so by the way, the reason you're struggling is not because you're, you know, doing it wrong or there's something wrong with you. It's because you're following a map that's not meant for you. You've been handed this map. You've been handed this recipe, right? You. It's like that one that one friends episode, right? Where Rachel makes the dessert. Anyone? Friends, right? I, I, I used to watch a lot of friends. I think it was, yeah, high school, college or whatever. The recipe, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. The recipe book is glued together and she makes this dessert. And it's like, and there's a layer of like custard and then lady fingers and then sauteed beef with the uh, onion or something like that. And then something like, ugh, bleh, so gross, right? What type of recipe was she following? Not the right one, not the right one. That's what we've all been doing. We've all been following this instruction, this recipe book, this whatever. That's not right for us. So it's not our fault, right? We've been going 110% given all of our effort, just like Rachel did, making that tr tr truffle, whatever it was, right? You know what I'm talking, yeah. That, that we have all been doing that 110% at the wrong recipe. I mean, Joey liked it, right? Joey liked it. So it's going to work for like one person out of the bunch. But everybody else, uh, everybody else did not uh, enjoy it, right? Not enjoy it. So sometimes I do feel like um, everything you know is not true. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but sunshine and rainbows, here's some good stuff to follow, right? <laughs> So, okay, yeah, see, pointing in the right direction, that's good. Um, is it normal to feel less energized on the third and fourth week of the cycle? Oh my goodness, yes, 110%. So, weeks three and four, your body's higher in progesterone. You don't have that natural energy. Estrogen, it's one and two. Estrogen is weeks one and two. Your body has this natural energy. It's gonna rebuild muscle faster. You're gonna, you know, be able to recover from workouts faster. You just have this extra boo boost. And after you ovulate, weeks three and four of your cycle, it just kind of dampens, 
right? Mm, it's just different. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, totally. It's funny and gross, right? Yes. Um, I've never heard from a doctor who said, let's look at you as a complete entity. Oh, yes, right? See, that's the other thing too. Your health is cumulative. All the things matter. They do. Everything that you're like, you know, your nutrition, your, you know, your trauma, all those things matter. I talk more about trauma and things like that on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. I've got episodes on things like that. Um, yeah, but it's all, it all matters. And anybody who says different is looking at one piece of the puzzle, right? You can't just look at one puzzle piece and expect to see the full picture. You have to get all the pieces of the puzzle to see the picture, right? Yes, that's what we all, and, and again, right now more than ever, we have to be our own health advocates for things, right? So we are all searching for our puzzle pieces and the information that I give really is to show you, okay, here's more puzzle pieces. Here's puzzle pieces you didn't know existed. They were hiding underneath the box, right? There you go. That's, that's my purpose here and that's my mission is just to help educate women with more of this content, right? I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, talking more about nutrition that matches your hormones and your cycle, all of those things. So if you need more help, if you need more guidance, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Do not hesitate to say something because I wanna make sure you guys are getting enough info to make the right changes for you. Um, and then again, I have a YouTube channel which is called Dr. Beth Westy. Tons of info there. And then again, I'm going to mention the wait list. In the comments, click on the wait list. Get on that wait list. There's a ton of content there too. And it's going to help you get started. So you can figure out if the 12-week challenge would be something that would be the right fit for you. To walk into, to get that guidance, everything. Okay. <laughs> Amber, I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. That's the thing. Women feel like they're crazy. You feel like you're crazy because you've been led in the wrong direction. You feel like you're crazy, right? Because you've been shown something, right? You feel like you're crazy if you're following a recipe and it ends up tasting like feet. <laughs> I followed the recipe. Why doesn't it work? Yeah, because it's the pages were stuck together. It's not the right one. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Um, yes. Okay. So good. Okay. Yes. Thanks guys. Good. Okay. So if you've got other questions, let me know. Um, otherwise I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. I will see you later. And if you have any questions on something and you want me to do a video on it, drop it in the comments and I will do a video on it. Have a great rest of your night.